Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Steel RMA 510V. This is the self-propelled 21 inch push mower from Steel. And we are gonna be talking about the pros and cons of it and kind of sharing my feedback on what I think of it after six months of use. So I bought my mower from my local Steel dealer and it ran me $499.99 for just the mower itself. Now, some dealers, they do sell these mowers for like $7.29 with a battery and charger. You, of course, will need a battery and charger in order to get this unit up and running. So you're going to be spending around $700, $750 to just get started. Sometimes they do have promotions running for these. But at the moment when I bought it, I already had a full line of battery equipment. And you can check out all the videos in the description down below of all of the battery operated steel tools that I carry. So I had the AP300, AP300S batteries, but I have nothing but good to say about this mower other than, yes, the uh, RPMs from the motor could be a little bit higher. It does tend to uh, not cut really like, like we're talking like overgrown grass here, right? But of course, this is a finished mower. You're not gonna be putting it on a piece of overgrown property that's over a foot long. Uh, that's just unnecessary for a battery powered machine but anything underneath six inches this thing will cut perfectly well i would no mower cuts perfectly right but a nice quality finished cut which we will be doing some uh, runs on our own lawn another cool thing i want to show you real quick is how easy it is to access the blade you can of course tip it to its side and again, you don't have to worry about gas or oil leaking out since it's a battery unit. And boom, you have access to the blade right here. But another cool thing is the way they have designed uh, the rear of this mower. You can take off the bag assembly. You pull these two tabs here on each side for your handle. Fold this handle down and lift this mower and it'll stay by itself. So now you can go and take off this bolt here. Now, one nice feature I do have to mention is how easy it is to tell which way to remove the blade and which way to install the blade. As you can see, there's an unlock icon there and the arrow pointing left side. So that means when you have your impact or ratchet, you wanna make sure it's on reverse. So you are loosening it like lefty loosey, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So as you can see, you take off the bolt with a ratchet or a impact like I did, and it makes for easy uh, removal of the blade. You could take it to a shop or sharpen it yourself. And now you can never go wrong with installing uh, this blade here because even if you try to install it upside down, the arrows, as you can see here, aren't lining up. Even if you twist it 180, they won't line up. So you have to flip it the correct way and install it like so. And even if you turn it around and install it, it's gonna install perfectly. So that's an awesome feature. I think it'll benefit a lot of people. Now let's talk real quick about the specs of this mower. Again, this is the RMA 510V with the self, this is the self-propelled model. It does run off of the AP series batteries, which are all 36 volt. The weight of this unit is 63.9 pounds. The deck width is 21 inches, while the cutting width or the, the, the length of the blade is 20 inches, so keep that in mind. The cutting height range ranges from one inch, so you can get really low, like golf course low, like some people like it. I cut mine at 1.5, you'll see it here in a minute. And you can get it as high as 3.9 inches. It is self-propelled, not like the 510, which is non-self-propelled, so there's two different units. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, it does have a mulch function. It also does have the side discharge that comes with it. It is bagging capable. Obviously, it comes with the bagging system. There is an eco mode, which we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, there are ball bearing. Obviously, all these wheels are uh, have ball bearings in them. So that is all the specs coming from the uh, manual itself. This is like a booklet that includes all of the power tools. So all these specs are from steel themselves. All right, now that we got these specs cleared out, we are now ready to mow. And so this is probably the battery that's going to come with it. Um, it's probably not going to be the S model. The S model is a little bit upgraded version of the original AP300 battery. 
You have two slots here. One is just a placement for another extra battery, but this one here is where you will insert your original battery. Now you can click this in with one finger. This tab is your release tab. So you can release the battery when you need to change it out and it'll click in with um, a push of your finger. There's an eco mode here. You can turn this on and off. This is not the on and off switch for your mower. This is to turn on and off eco mode. What eco mode does is it provides a way for the motor to not be used as much. It goes and drops RPMs when it's not noticing that you're cutting a lot of grass. And we'll kind of play around with that in, in, a, in, a, in the video to come you'll see it kind of switch on and off and you'll hear it as well. You also have your key here. This is basically just a 60 amp fuse that inserts there. You can leave this inside if you are storing your machine in indoors. You can leave this key in here. It won't hurt anything. Let's go ahead and turn eco mode off first and then we'll switch it on when we do operate this unit. Now, if you do purchase a second battery, again, you can place it here as a placement but this does add weight to your mower. So if you don't want the mower to feel like it's super heavy, you can simply remove the battery and that's what I usually do. So I mentioned earlier that I do like to cut my grass pretty low and I like to cut it at an inch and a half. So if you wanna cut it at an inch and a half like me, you have to set it to number two. I wish they had real numbers on here, but they have a range of one to eight. Obviously one is one inch but eight is where you get the 3.98 inches or four inches to be whole. Okay, so that was with eco mode turned off. Now let me go ahead and turn on eco mode and you'll kind of hear the difference of it. It almost seems like it cuts out, but it's not. So uh, let's see if you can notice the difference. All right, so hopefully you noticed that drop in RPMs, that was the eco mode. And now my grass isn't long, but if we had to cut like two inches or three inches when it was, when it's under heavy load, it does go back up to its maximum RPMs. So like with eco mode off, you heard the max RPM sound with the eco mode on. I don't know what RPMs it drops. I'd say maybe down to 2200. And then when it does go under heavy load, it jumps back up to 3,600 RPMs. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, please 
feel free to reach out to me in the comments down below, put your questions there and I'll answer them in a timely manner. Thank you guys so much. I hope this quick review was beneficial to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the quality of cut on the machine. And again, any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. This has been Phil with Phil's Lawn Care Plus channel. If you guys love uh, my content creation on the original channel, please make sure to check that out. If you're first time here, if you first time ever heard about Phil's Lawn Care, I do lawn makeovers on my main channel. So go ahead and check that channel out. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. And we will see you in the next one.